All right, so today we'll be talking about the Behringer um, Euphoria UM2 and the Audio Technica AT2020. So basically, the AT2020, because AT stands for Audio Technica. So first off, the um, the Audio Technica or the AT2020 is a XLR microphone. So you have to buy a audio interface like this one. Stay. And um, I like this one because it's a fairly, it's, it's pretty light. It's not the best build quality, but it is a fair, it's very good. It's about 35, 30 to $40. I'm not absolutely sure, but it's a very good um, beginner audio interface for a, a cheap price. And it basically just does what you need it to do. And that's pretty much it. So I'll show you guys how to set up both of these things on Windows 10 in this video. So uh, let's get right into that. All right, so first off, uh, you probably want to start with the Audio Technica or the microphone that you have. It doesn't have to be the Audio or the AT2020. It can be any XLR microphone. I just happen to get this one. Uh, it's a very good cardio condenser microphone. Um, I like it, so I, I, I recommend this one. But you can do your own research. So, so first off, you want to get an XLR to XLR, so a male and a female end, like that. You want to get the male end of that and you want to plug it in to the bottom of your, until you hear that click or however your cord works. So you want to plug it in to your microphone like that. And then you want to plug, you want to get your audio interface or the Behringer Euphoria UM2 and you want to plug that in just right there. So now you have, now these are connected by XLR. Or with, with the Behringer um, interface, it also comes with a, US, a micro USB to normal USB, and you just want to plug that. Ah, plugging it in wrong. You just want to plug the, you know, plug it in like that. So you have. So this is what your Behringer will look like once everything's plugged into it. So you want to make sure not to plug in the uh, audio interface through the USB into your computer before you install a driver. So because they'll want you to do that once you install a driver. So there's two types of drivers. There's a 64-bit driver and a 32-bit driver. I don't know what the difference is. I just did a 64-bit and it works for me. So if you have a decent computer, I'm sure I'm sure the 64-bit driver. So you want to click on the 64-bit and it'll start to install that. Uh, you want to click on that. It'll open your files. Uh, you want to click double click on that. Double click on this. And it'll bring up all these. You want to go to setup.exe. Click on setup.exe. Uh, it'll ask you for what language you want. Um, so choose your language. And then you want to hit OK. And then you want to install the driver. And so it'll bring up this. And now it'll ask you to please plug in your audio device now. So uh, let's do that. All right, so in my mess of cords, um, here is the, uh, the USB for the interface. We want to come back behind my PC and uh, plug that in. So now it's plugged in. You get something that looks like this on your computer. Uh, so to say, in order to complete the, uh, you need to reboot your computer. So you want to reboot now. All right. So now that your computer is back on and restarted, the Behringer audio interface will be ready to be used. So as you can see, it has an orange light right there, and then you can see that it's not actually turned on yet. So you want to come behind right here and just turn that on. And so now that you can see that red light is on, and you can see that the microphone, aka the the AT2020, is picking up my voice. And also, there's a clip, and it means when you're talking too loud into the microphone, it'll show you that's like if they'll, this will come up as not good quality on your video. And that's just the red one. The green one says that there's a signal coming from your microphone. So also, the three knobs, you're probably wondering what these do. This one really determines how loud it is for your the people who are listening to you. These two, you can kind of mess around with them, look it up. I'm not absolutely sure what those do, but this one is probably the most important that you'll have to deal with. And if you want to mute the microphone, if your microphone that you bought, not just the AT2020, doesn't have a mute button on it, you can just come up to it, turn this all the way down, and now the microphone does not pick up a signal. All right, so that does it for the uh, AT2020 or XLR microphone setup with the Behringer uh, Euphoria UM2. Again, I recommend this because it's a cheap X or it's a cheap audio interface that maybe not has the best build quality, but as long as you're not throwing it around, it's not going to break. And I also suggest this. It's about ninety-nine dollars. 
But if you need a really, if you have a, like a really small budget, there are cheaper microphones. But I will link both this and the audio interface in the description, and I also link the drivers for all of that stuff in the description as well, so that you can have the easiest time trying to figure that out. So just make sure you look in the comments. All right, so that does it for this video. If you guys have any more questions about um, the interface or the microphone or if any other microphones, please make sure to tell me down in the comments. And yeah, thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Ooh.